Is it true Blair plans to replace you as soon as she's princess? It is, but it doesn't matter. Because she's never going to become princess. You will see to that. Yeah, I don't know if our plan is going to work. Blair's bachelorette party seems like it's going to be a very staid affair. No, not if you're there. And there will be liquor, no? See that she drinks a lot of it. You're not going back on me now, are you? Beatrice, Blair is still in love with Jack. She just confessed it to me. If we don't stop your brother's marriage, I will lose my position in the royal court. And you will lose me as well. Is that really what you want? What do you want me to do? Help Louis to see the truth about Blair. Get her drunk and alone with Jack Bass. And then we will show the world where her true heart lies. There was really no need to come up. I told the front desk we're just fine with our Gideons. I'm not here to sell you anything. God's advice is free. <laughs> Father Cavalia of Monaco. <laughs> Grimaldi's spiritual flag. What could you possibly want with me? I received a call from Princess Beatrice this morning. She is concerned about her brother's pending marriage to Blair Waldorf. And you think I might be the answer to her prayers? Perhaps. I know that you're on your way to the St. Regis to interrupt Miss Waldo's bachelorette party, so I thought he would let you know that the party's been moved. What happened to thou shalt not steal? This is not the time to be cavalier, Monsieur Bass. The woman you love is about to marry another man. I am quite aware, and thank you for your sympathies, but tell me, Father, what is your angle? This is what is known as divine intervention, Monsieur Bass. I'd accept it if I were you. I'd have to speak with Blair in private. I'm not sure even you could perform that miracle alone. Who said I'm working alone? After all, I've got the higher power by my side. Let's go. Where's Blair? With me. Can you get her to Chuck's hotel? No. The plan is finished. It's over. And so are we. Beatrice, wait! I don't want to play these games to hurt people. I only want you, but you're never going to leave the church for me. We both know it. I'm just the only one brave enough to say it out loud. You've made a grave mistake, Beatrice. You forget I still have your mother's ear. And she had no trouble believing you were still trying to ruin your brother's wedding. So when I suggested you might benefit from some missionary work in East Africa, she agreed. I tell my mother we slept together. You'll be defrocked. And whose word do you think she will accept? Her scheming daughter or her loyal, loving priest? You might be able to get rid of me, but you won't be able to stop the wedding. Which is why I have found someone far better equipped to assist me in my cause. That's probably your mother now. Bon voyage. Mr. Bass, welcome. Right on time. I have no interest in niceties. Just tell me what you know. I know what is in Blair Waldorf's heart. And if you don't want this wedding to happen, together we can make sure it doesn't. She already thinks I'm a villain. I may as well become one. You know what they say, talk is cheap. So if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe you should just shut your mouth. XOXO, Gossip Girl. I'm sorry, Father, I don't play those sort of games anymore. You'll need this to get past security today at the church. Shall we go over the plan again? Please. Father Smite's afternoon tea will be supplemented with sleeping pills instead of his usual sweetener. When he is unable to perform the ceremony, Her Serene Highness will have no choice but to ask me to step in. During the service, when I ask if anyone has any objections, 
That's where you come in. And tell the world that only last week I've overheard her tell you she's still in love with me. And voila. In one fell swoop, you'll have saved Blair from a loveless future, and I will have saved Monaco from a thankless princess. It is, as you people say, uh, win-win. Are you prepared? More than you know. Water? Avec plaisir. That you were getting changed. I did. But the surplus. Oh! Oh! Oh no. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I use your restroom? No, you may not, but you better find one you can and stay close to it for the rest of the day. You may have a touch of food poisoning. What did you do? Well, I'm just guessing. But it's possible the water I've been continuously pouring for you all morning came from the tap at a Bass Resort bathroom in Mexico. You see, I can't allow you to destroy Blair's wedding. You think because I love her, I want her all to myself, but I'm not that man anymore. I just want her to be happy. And if marrying Louis will do that for her, then that's what's going to happen. I hope you can find a public restroom soon. One where the line isn't too long. <sighs> These black market babies got me through my morning sickness. Just don't take them with the vodka. Learn the hard way. No, are you again? The answer to your prayers. From what I overheard, we both want to take out the same wedding, which makes us kindred spirits. And now that you're down for the count, I'm more than happy to pick up where you left off. And why should I trust you? Because clearly you need an expert. You were trying to go after Blair. She's not the weak link. It's always the man. And if you hand me that costume you're holding, I'll prove it to you. How can you be so sure you can pull this off? Jesus owes me one. <laughs>